Hiya, it's Adam here. So what we're going to be doing in this small video training is going over click funnels and get response. Okay, this is so that you can actually attach click funnels to an email autoresponder system. Uh, that's if you don't want to set it up to the one that's actually built into click funnels. Okay, so I use get response. Um, I don't use this one at the moment, so I'll just stick with what I use and it does me absolutely fine. Okay, so when you've so come along, You've got the share funnel, you've added it to your account. What we're going to do is you'll come through, and when you sign in, you'll click on Click Funnels, Click Funnels, and it'll open up a page like this. It'll just have a big list of all your funnels. So the one we're going to be using is this one, Emergency Roofer. It might have a different name when you come to this, because this is evolving all the time, this course. So we've got Emergency Roofer, Tow Truck. That one's going to change soon, Emergency Roofer. I'm just building another page. But what I'll keep doing, it's just adding all the pages and then you can just delete which ones you don't want to use which is probably the easiest way to do it so for this training we're just going to use emergency roofer okay so the first thing we need to do before we even come in here is attach our get response account to the actual um, click funnels to make sure everything works good and works fine okay so that when somebody puts in I'll just show you it on here So that when someone puts their details into here, you will be notified in get response that they have actually contacted you and left the information for you. So obviously we need to connect click funnels to get response. So I'll just open up my get response account. I'll leave a link under the video for you where to get this from. Okay, so once you've signed into Get Response, this is the page that you will see. So the first thing you need to do is come across, click on Menu, and you'll see here Integrations and API. So you click on that. Here you'll see API. And basically, what you do, you just create, you go generate a new API key, give it a name. I will call it Click Funnels. Test API. So you just name it whatever you want. Doesn't matter. Generate. Uh, there you go. So there you go. Click funnels test API. So you would then copy that. Copy that number. And you come across to click funnels. Click out of here. Click into your account settings. And down here you'll see integrations. Click on integrations. As you can see, I've got the get response one now. You just go add new integration. I'll do it with Aweber, but you know, get response is there. You'd click on that, give it a nickname. As you can see, I had my one down as click funnels to get response. Give it a name, test. And then it will just ask you to log into your account. I think with the get response one, so I'll have a quick look on there because that's see because I'm sure you have to put the API key there. Get yeah, response, but it might just show. Yeah. So with get response, you give it a name, paste your API key in it, and then add the integration. And that's how that one would work. Obviously, if you use a Weber, you would just do it, give it a nickname. And it will connect and instead of having the API you'll just use your password to sign into it okay once that's done what will happen at the moment is get response will say it's not connecting when that happens pop across to get response okay go to this all right get off go to live chat open up live chat and literally speak to someone and inform them that click funnels the api for click funnels isn't working what get response have done recently they've run some updates and updated their api to version 3 click funnels is still work running on version 2 so as soon as you inform the person on the live chat that you want to connect to click funnels they will go in 
they make a few seconds amendments, do whatever they do, and they basically revert your get response API back to a um, sorry, back from version three back to version two. Then you wait 10, 15 minutes, and that's it. Your ClickFunnels account will then connect. You don't need to go in and create an API or anything like that, but it will connect because get response will change what needs to be done. This is just a transition moment at the moment, and it will sort itself out fairly soon. Okay, so once you've got it all connected, you're there. We can go back to the funnels. Emergency roofing funnel. And you'll just come in to your edit page. So once you're in, you've got your details down here and you've got your button here. But before you do that, come up to settings, integrations, and it'll ask you to set this up. So what you'll do, there's a button here that won't be green. You'll click on integration and it will give you the option for get response. Click on that add to a campaign and then the list list to add it to is you choose what list you want so the list is something in here you would have created oh, great uh, so you got a list oh there are create list so you would have come in here Right. And then once you're in here, so if they remove integration, so you'd go on there, get response API, add to campaign, select list, there's my one, Adam's list, and it tells you that it's connected. Good. That is then working fine. But before you do that, these big buttons here, click on there, and you go to set action. So what you would do is put in, this does not submit your form, so you would put a URL, which would be the next page that you want this one to go to, so I'll get that in a moment. Once you've done that, submit order, submit form. Come off, save your details. And then down here, you would do this is the wherever your next page will be I'll go and get it in a moment submit order make sure that's all correct and then save okay so what I'll do I'll go and just quickly get so this is the thank you page we want to send it to this is the URL so we'll go back into here. Edit page. Okay, so it automatically saves the URL so it knows where it's going. Submit order when you click it. Save. Save that one. Okay, so that's these little areas added. If you want more information in, literally just click on the add element, go down, and then you'll find the information down here. Wherever you only want text blocks and whatever. Just try and now SMS sign ups, billing surveys. Check boxes and input is what you're looking for. So, as you see there, inputted the new one, input type, and you can choose all the different information that you want somebody to submit to you. Okay, ah, get off. Bin that. Okay, so I'll just save that. So, now what should happen? 
I'm going to run a quick test. Sometimes it takes a minute or two for click funnels to catch up. But you would come through here. Oops. Okay. webdesign.com oh, Mr. ML okay so I've put my information in here I want someone to contact me go straight on to there so you've got another call to action straight away and then hopefully in here quickly do a quick refresh there you go show contacts there's me Adam Mac web design click into it my phone number, my first name, and where it's come from, from ClickFunnels. Okay, so that's there. So that's working, which is great. So we can capture people's details, you know, and all you have to do is keep an eye on, get response, and make sure that you're receiving that. So there's a good little device out there for doing this, because you might not be on get response all the time. So what we do is we create something called a Zap. Okay, and what will happen is somebody will sign up, and you'll receive a quick email, telling you, hi, uh, somebody signed up to your account, please, and it's just giving you a prompt to go and check this, okay? So I'll cover that in the next video.